Hey everyone, Ron here from Night Train Models. Welcome to Volume 4 of the Hashit Collection of Japan, Space Battleship Yamato. As you can see, cleaned up the desk a little bit back here, and it's raining like crazy outside. It's been raining here for three days now. But anyways, apologize for the rain and you can hear that, but is what it is. Uh, let's uh, continue with the build. Alright, so here's our magazine for this week. Our parts list. Uh, most of it is plastic. We got some fiber, a couple of sprues, plastic parts in the sprue, another plastic part, clear ABS, and a metal part that we won't be using. We won't be using the clear either. Let's see. Let's see here. Alright, so I did a lot of the fiddly stuff off camera, and I will show you what I did and uh, some of the problems I came across. And I told you last episode I'd show you what happens if you use Tamiya Extra Thin on these parts, and we'll, we'll see what happens there too. So, anywho's, anyways, sprue, once again, the center. Left and right, those go into the top of this part. Uh, make sure you put them in the right spot. Then we got these lights out here. Cut the lens off, put the lens in. And this is the one that I actually ran into a little bit of hassle because of the way these fit together. And I had to put a little bit of white glue to hold this lens in place because when you go to put this fiber in, it bumps it, and, you know, it's got to butt up against this piece right here. And it just kept moving, and I couldn't. It was annoying. So the fiber has a metal ferrule on it, and you're supposed to cut off the extra that's sticking out of the fiber. And then I polished it with a super, super fine... I polished it with a super fine file. And then a, one of the problems that I ran across is this channel that runs down this part. When you go to put everything together and squeeze everything together, the fiber is just way too thick for this channel. So you're going to have to make the channel a little bit bigger. I used a, I just used a small rat tail file, a little round file, and went down the chain, went down the channel and made it a little bigger to like get it to fit together pretty good, squeeze together. These are uh these are the radar. I believe they're radar. They go on the top of the superstructure. Same thing with the other side. Had the same problem. So then we cut these greeblies off the sprues, glue, glue them into the right place with some super glue, and then Thread them through, thread the fiber through, glue these down on top, and then take this captain's quarters, I believe it is, or his ready room, something like that. Put that down, put a screw in it, and we're done. We'll, ha we'll have this when we're done, um, and then the two extra parts I said we would need. Alright, so, like I said... I mean, you could see that from here, what I did. So, we all know how Tamiya Extra Thin works, and this is the first one that I did, and I did use Tamiya Extra Thin on it. And what it does, it melts the plastic, and then you squeeze it together, and fuses the plastic together. And what happens is, on this dark plastic, it leaves this white line white stress line that I could not get rid of no matter how much I sanded because it melted all of the part so on the other one I just used super glue and as you can see not as much of a a white line Here's this part of the superstructure. Glued the two greeblies on. 
Can't really mess that up because it only go on one way. That, these two, and then the captain's quarters. I believe they're the captain's quarters. My dog is freaking out because of the thunder. So this is captain's quarters. I believe this gets lit up later. I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out when uh, we get to that point. So let's let's finish with this part of the build. Um, got a bottle cap here that I use for glue. This is from uh, Kona Brewing Company. Not bad beer. I like it. Um, then on the inside they teach you Hawaiian. I don't know how to pronounce that. Kaihe? Kaihe? Kiha? Means burp? Interesting. Beer drinkers. So I take a little soup glue. Put it in our bottle cap. Don't need a lot. Take our little other glasses on so you can see. Just dust on the part. So I'm going to take some glue. We're going to put it in this hole. Yeah, that's, this is the front. Let's put this one in. Thread that through there. Hold that for a couple, few seconds. While we're doing that, go to the other side. Same thing, through through. Hold it in place. Get our screws out. We only need one. These are self-tapping for plastic. Little lip right there, we stick that under. And then we take our screw, come on little baby. That nice and snug, but don't over tighten it. We don't want to strip the hole out. Yep, still too loose. Okay, 
So there we have that part of it, and that's pretty much done. We'll uh, go through and detail this and do some washes and pull out all these details and fix our faux pas back here. But other than that, this part of the build is done. Oh, here's another thing I missed. And I don't know why they did this. I don't know if you can see it right here. Right there. There's an L for left. There was an R over here for right, but I sanded that one off. But I missed this L over here, so I'm going to sand that off. And there's also, there's a few... A little tiny bit of flash. There's a few ejector pin marks on these parts. We'll get this all fixed up, and I mean, pretty much that's done uh, as far as assembly. Well, I'll do the cleanup off camera, and that'll be it. So that, that ends that volume of the build. Not sure what's coming up in number five. I haven't even opened that. All the build from now on is going to be new to me, uh, as it is to you. We shall continue. If you like this video and learn something, subscribe, give it a like, put some comments in the comments section, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.